I like to do my tutorials on Nexus devices because when I do testing on other devices such as the Samsung Note 4 on my Camera 2 API application I can sometimes get behavior such as this when I rotate the application. Not so great. Welcome to Mobile Application Tutorials. My name's Nigel. As we saw in the demo that sometimes when you use other devices besides Nexus, Nexus devices on your camera applications, you're going to have rotation issues. And we had got a rotation issue using the Samsung Note 4 on the Camera 2 API application. So I'm going to show you how to implement a fix for that. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to add a new method here. And I'll just call it transform image. And it's going to take a couple of arguments. One will be width, and the other one will be height. First thing we want to do here, we want to make sure um, our two main members, activity members, the preview and a texture view, have been set up. So let's do a check for that. So let's do a check that that, if that is null, or if the texture view is null, we just want to jump out of this method as such. Okay, now if that's okay, we're going to set up some more local members for this method. Um, first one, we're going to create a matrix. This is where all the work's going to be doing, such as rotating and stretching, uh, what the positioning uh, the, the image will happen. And this matrix is going to be Android graphics matrix. Don't select the other one. And we're just going to create a new matrix here. Okay, now we want to create a int member for the rotation. And to get the rotation, it's get window manager, get default display, get rotation. Okay, now we want to create um, basically a rectangle box representing our texture view and one re representing our, our preview. So these are going to be rect f and I'll call the first one texture rect f and we'll set up the um, the boundary for this rect f so it's going to be zero zero and it's going to be the width and the height will go here And we're going to do the same for the um, preview as well. But in this case, the dimensions are going to be the in preview size. Get height in this case. You notice it's height, not width in this case, because it's going to be the uh, dimensions for a rotation as such. And we'll do the same for the width. Okay, now we need to add some centering points here. Call this one center x. And we get this value from the texture. Center x. And we'll do the same, we'll do a center y as well. Into what? Okay, 
we've got all our members in place. And now we want to do a check for the uh, rotations and the landscape modes, which will be 90 and 270. So we call our rotation and we check to see, use a surface class here to help us out. We use check to see if it's 90 or, so let me fix a little bug here. It's comparison there. And we do the check for 270 as well. As such. So if that's okay, now we want to set our offset centering position for our destination buffer, which would be the preview rec def. So if we call preview rec def offset. Okay, so we'll pass in center x first and take away and a bit center x. And we're going to do the same thing for center y as well, center y position. It's just center y minus the preview rect f center y. As such, now we've got the centering set up for our preview. Now we're going to call the matrix and we're going to set our source texture rec texture. We're going to set our texture rec def into the destination, which will be the preview rec def as such. So our first one will be the textures of source preview destination and we want that scale we want to f fill in the whole destination rect as such okay now we want to work out the scale we're going to use a scale for the um, making sure we fill the destination as such so let's work out the scale should we a float I call it scale Use math max. We want to get the largest scale that we can, either from the width or the height. So let's pass in the width first. And one thing I've got to be careful of, we want to cast this width to a float. All right, so it won't be quite right as such. And now to get the preview height, we'll just call it M. Preview size, get width. So we've done the width, now we'll do the height. And that'll be the height. And then subtract M. Preview size, get height. So now we've got the scale to work with. Call the matrix again, and we're going to set the scale. When I say set, I mean post the scale. We're going to pass in the scale for the X and Y position dimensions. And then we'll pass in our centering center X and center Y. So that will give us the correct scale to go into the destination. Now we want to do the rotation. Again, it'll be post, rotate. And for this, we want this just to work out whether, whether or not what lamp scope mode we're going to be in. So it's going to be this, then we'll inside brackets, put, a ro put the rotation minus two as such. So this this will just allow us to work out the rotation value for um, 90 or 270. And again we'll pass in center x and center y. OK, 
Okay, that's done. Now we need to just set up our texture view with this matrix as such. Okay, that's the method implementation. Now we need to call this method. So first place, let me check on resume. Yes, so down below setup camera is a good place for us to transform our image. And it's gonna take the same arguments as the setup camera there. And we'll pass in the height there as such. And we've just got to do it in one more place because we call setup camera in two places. We'll have to call transform image in two places as well. And it's just there in the texture, in the surface texture callback. Okay, so we'll transform image there, pass in the width and the height. And that's it. So I think we're ready to go. Just let me unlock my phone. Okay, let's run this and see what happens. Application's running. Let me record so you can see what's happening on the display. Okay, so there we have it there. Let me rotate my camera application. And as you can see, that rotation's working. Let's go back up to vertical and let's rotate in the other position. And we have it working. So that's the preview rotation working here. Okay, so that's it for this one. Um, I always like to do all my tutorials using the Nexus devices because they give you the standard de facto way that even the device manufacturers are expected to um, implement their smartphone devices, but unfortunately there's a few devices such as some of the Samsung devices that aren't behaving in line as the Nexus devices are. So this bit of code will hopefully work for you if you're using a non-Nexus device and you've been following my camera API, um, camera two API tutorial series here. Anyway, that's it for this tutorial. Remember, if you haven't subscribed already and you want to get notified of my latest tutorials, click on that subscribe button down below. And if you, if you want to follow me on my social media accounts, you can, and these are all clickable if you're clicking them from a PC, you can um, follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, um, pin me on Pinterest, and drop me a line on um, Google Plus as well. And directly above me as well is um, a link to my personal website, which has all the details and information of GitHub. It's, it's, it's got all the information co uh, uh, aggregated, collected in one place. Anyway, that's all for this one. Bye for now.